Well, it is vital for you to follow your precious knight in this assignment. He's heading straight to the Twin Tails Princess. I'll brief you more after you get there. Twin Tails Princess? In Pavaria? You're sending me to another country? Um, Twin Tails Princess? A.K.A. the chick who takes pleasure in beheading you witches? Yes, that chick. Okay, uh, excuse me, you're sending my precious baby on a suicide mission? Lay seriously, look at her. She's barely a woman. Hey! Shush, baby, I'm trying to save your head here. Have faith in your godfather. Damn it, <laughs> Oh, calm yourselves. I'll be there to brief you. Plus, as long as you wear this cloak, she can't sense you're a witch. Make sure you wear this before you enter the Bavarian borders. That sneaky girl puts up a witch barrier, so don't take off the cloak even once you're in Bavaria. Okay, I understand. Wait, what about me? What about you? Lei, you can't just separate me from my baby like this. No. Trap, stop squeezing me. Ah. Well, even if I ask you not to follow her, you'll do it anyway. So why do I even bother in giving you a task? Hear that, baby Phil? We're going on our honeymoon in Pavaria. Oh my god, job. <laughs> oh my god, job. You can't get rid of me that easily. Chop, put me down! But of course, Trav, you cannot let the knight notice you. Aw, so I can't hold hands with my baby? Oh, well, it's not like he ever noticed me in my months of stalking you two. Chop! How often do you even stalk us? Well, I wish you good luck, Phil. I'll see you in Pavaria. Oh yes, while you're there, please investigate the issue with the Murpho. Something strange is going on. Both Ralph and I are pawns somehow, serving a higher order with a mission that even we don't know about. Both of us realize this, which is why we stick together. Whatever happens, we feel as if we have a sense of security within each other's company. When evening rolls in, we finally got out of the dry prairies and entered a foresty area. Then we began to find a clearing and a flat ground to set up camp. After that, we moved on to do our assigned tasks, with Ralph setting up the tents while I'm off to find some firewood. I have to admit, camping out for three nights have made me quite interested in plants and woods. Careful out there. I'll scream in terror if I need some help. Honestly, what is he so worried about? I'm a witch. I'm entirely capable of taking care of myself. Phil, baby. Ugh, then there's this guy. who's performing excellently so far in protecting me, but I don't even realize half of the threats until they're already taken care of. Oh, trap. Bugger, I love you guys. How'd you manage to hide in the middle of nowhere earlier? I was starting to think you weren't following us. Well, if you want to know, the one thing that I'm better at than fighting is hiding. I went up ahead of him to find myself a particularly thick tree, so I could pull off a small portion of its bark. The trees here have a sort of elastic yet dry sap. It's quite easy com to combust. You're more like an assassin than a warrior, honestly. That was my first impression of you, Trap. Assassins are way cooler than warriors. Yeah, you best be flattered, Jeb. <laughs> I'm flattered. I was really scared of you! I thought you were going to stab me with that thing. That totally interesting thing there. Pointed to the dragon statue he's always holding. Come to think of it, Trout never uses that thing for anything. He's just holding it. He's always holding it. What even is that thing anyway? This? Uh, this was a gift from a seer I met during my journey to the assemblage. It's in the process of molding into a weapon that's apparently most fitted for me. Most fitted for you? So it's basically trying to measure your overall capabilities and such before it changes into a weapon? That's what the seer said. It's still molding though. I have no idea what it's going to turn into. Probably some super epical sword. I think it's starting to look like a sword. Really? I thought it was going to turn into a spear because the blade looks more like it's for stabbing than slashing. So you have to keep holding on to it? Isn't it heavy? <laughs> my question earned me a look from Trav as if he's about to ask whether I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god, Trav. <laughs> Phil, baby, I can lift a live pregnant cow with one hand. Great. 
I always forget that Trav is unbelievably strong. So strong that he doesn't even need a weapon to fight most of the time. I was targeted by a group of goblins once, and Trav only needed to roar and stomp his foot for them to scram. I really need to do something for Travis thanks for all the time he saved me. I th think he just does it because he loves you. Yeah. Hey, Trav. I turned around to face him, but he's nowhere to be seen. Huh? Just then a pair of arms that were obviously not Trav's and closed around me tightly from behind. Ah, uh, hey! Being dragged off from the tree bark, I squirmed and elbowed the person climbing rock in his room. Swiftly turning around, I can see a man rubbing the spot I elbowed. Ow! The bright color of his clothing blinded me for a second. Oh, I didn't know you were a girl. This one simple statement popped in nerve me. Why does that matter? Just because my fist is smaller than yours doesn't mean it'll hurt any less. I did tighten my fist and launch it up at a smug face. Then Trav jumped down from the trees and opened it on top of the head. Gee! Trav, you're awesome. The man fainted before I could even land a punch on him. Trav! You're welcome. <laughs> you grin. I almost had him. Why did you do that? Well, for one reason, he caught the feel of your budding pair of assets. <laughs> what? Plus, he has a knife with him. I can't give him a chance to stab you. Looking down, I can see he indeed have it. He indeed does have possession of a knife in his belt. Your boyfriend's in trouble, though. stones at them. Oh my god. Trub. Trub flicked up a lone pebble using his foot, caught it in midair, and flicked it to hit a tree. The tree was knocked out of its roots and fell. Ooh, you're strong as shit. That's almost terrifying. Just try not to hug me too tight, okay? You can seriously kill someone with a hug. It's scary. His strength is simply frightening. Anything for my baby. Returning back to the campsite with all the firewood I collected, I'm not surprised to see Ralph completely fine and unharmed, along with a couple of humans facing him. I only need a brief moment to study each and every one of their expressions to guess what Ralph had done. You just invited bandits to join us for dinner again, huh? This isn't the first time something like this happened. He cut a thief once and invited the guy for tea. It's Ralph's specialty, I suppose. He can befriend practically anyone with how open-minded he is. Taking a look at the assailants who tried to go against Ralph, I noticed that one of them looks a lot like the man who attacked me. Oh, if you're looking for your friend, I knocked him out. He's still in the woods. I earned a number of looks from all of them, even when I'm trying to be helpful here. You knocked down a man? Out of everyone, I was hoping Ralph wouldn't underestimate me. This is depressing. Fine. Something heavy fell from the trees and knocked him out. Sheesh. So Trav did all the work, but I could have knocked him myself if the dragon had given me a chance to fight. Come nightfall, we're already sitting down around the campfire eating dinner like a group of jolly celebrating humans. I see, so you're all siblings. That explains the matching clothing. Yes, my name is Katharina. These are my two older brothers. Twins. I wonder why they wear the same thing. I thought twins always strive to be different from one another. Still, I can tell them both apart since one of them looks rather sickly and weak. Name's Kenneth. Shy one's Kent. I'm Raphael. And I'm Fel. Just call her Felicia. He was asking for that punch. Fel is just fine. Don't listen to him, he's crazy. Says the one who lets loose that fist of hers for no good reason. Stop testing me, I'm not holding back even if there are other humans nearby. You two seem pretty close. Are you siblings as well? Katharina's question stunned both me and Ralph. Then we let her laugh at how misleading her assumption is. No, he's far from being brother-like. She's not my sister. She's my fiancé. My mouth hung open at his sudden declaration. Katharina and Kenneth took turns in alternating looks between me and Ralph. 